Hello everyone, welcome back to Project Hospital. So we have a very, very busy emergency clinic down here. Um, we've got doctors in here and there, don't we? And there, uh, yeah, okay, so we've got two, four, we've got eight doctor's rooms open. Uh, it might be worth us getting another receptionist. Yes, because they are queuing up currently to speak to the receptionist. Let's get that in. What chair? Blue chair. Um, that one there. Okay, and then we'll get in. Um, yeah, let's get in Elizabeth. There's another receptionist, so if we can get the higher prioritized patients to find a queue. Um, did I want to do any building? Um, so we've got Gen Surge up here. No, I don't. I think at the minute we just need to sort of try and get our objectives. Because as soon as we get these two, that's 150 grand, then we can start thinking about opening up internal medicine. Um, so let's go down. So what we're treating trying to treat 60 patients. Right, so let's go on the treatment bus. So Richard Harris, what do you have? You have influenza, have your antivirals and go home, please. Here we've got Elizabeth Lopez, not too sure. Let's do a physical exam and check her chest. What do you think, doctor? Mm, just not sure. Okay, na nasal cavity. Take a temperature. Now we... Oh God, now Elizabeth is collapsing. Oh God, she's got ulcerative colitis. Let's give her corticosteroids for treatment, um, give us some for the pain, give us some for the diarrhea, give us some for the fever and then please rest Elizabeth if we want you to be well. Jane's also collapsing, I'm not sure what she has yet. Let's give her some antibiotics and we'll monitor her heart. Okay we've still got Elizabeth in here, still not sure so let's give her a chest x-ray. Over here we've got Michael Williams, he's got an ankle contusion. So we're going to give him some numbing ointment and he'll be going home. Over here we have Karen Brown. Um, let's give a visual, basic visual test, small visual test to see what's going on there. She's got hypertensive of retinopathy, which does not sound great. So let's give her. If we give her, uh, why can't we give her that? Okay, so let's. Uh, change it to neurology and then she's going to get an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor. Uh, what else is going on? Okay, and then oh, all of our other doctors sort of out of office. So we're on 37. I think we can do this, guys. So we've got William Moore here. He's definitely going to need. Well, let's do a physical exam. And if we still can't tell. Yeah, okay, so let's give him an x ray. Rachel Allen here, we're not sure what she's got. Let's give her, I think, is that the same treatment? Yep, so let's not do that. Oh, do we have to? Okay, let's give her an antifungal ointment. We've got Margaret Thomas over here, not sure what she's got, something to do with her eyes. So we're gonna give her some different eye tests. She's also got hypertensive retinopathy, so let's also transfer her to neurology and give her an ACE inhibitor. Over here we've got Sarah Taylor who's got a pork tapeworm. She's got her anti helmin fix. Helmin tix, how we pronounce it there. Oh god, getting through them. Um, Elizabeth White here has got Ali Athlete's foot. She's getting her antifungal ointment. Oh, Christ, that's a lot of people. I would like to do a bit of switcheroo down here. So really these rooms should be here with the others really, shouldn't they? So we can maybe at night time um, just swap this around a little bit. We need 90% 90, 90 prestige at the end of the day in emergency, which we haven't got yet. He's just chilling, he's waiting for a bed and general surgery. I mean there's plenty of beds. 
So if you could get him up here, please, nurse. Um, please. Where is everyone? We've got someone else coming in, so. Missing a bit of floor there. I think we are going to need another doctor. Oh, we got. Oh, okay. So let's get in this desk. Um, white chair. PC printer. Let's get another doctor in the night. So let's go for. Day, we're gonna get Frank. So another doctor. Mm, it'd be nice to have another nurse. We definitely need another nurse in the night. Let's get. Um. You. You take a while to get in, but that's fine. You don't do patient care or trauma st stabilisation. Yeah. So we've got two nurses transferring. But really, we need more nurses doing care. So let's just extend this a tad. We're going to get a couple more desks in here. Um, nurses station. Office desk in brown. Lovely brown. And then here we've also got white chairs. A couple of PCs. And then for me, we're going to get one more nurse. And then we can extend that to two more nurses if we need to. Oh, we've actually got a spare space here. Oh, have they all done their stupid no workplace thing? <sighs> it's going to be you two, so you can go there. And you can go there. Okay, and then let's get one more in a day. We're going to get someone who's good at clinical nurses. Well, we're going to get a clinical nurse specialist. Um, you look the best. And then you do not do patient transfers. You do not do patient transfers. We're also going to expand our trauma centre by one. Objective. Oh, we treated 60 patients. Awesome. So we've got the 50, 50,000 um, grand grant. So now we need 90% prestige, which I don't think we're going to get. So let's have a look. Um, so we've got someone that's hungry in hospitalization. So that isn't great. But we've got no one here. So that seems strange. Bellyfield, short weight, nice environment, has boss, Bellyfield needs reduced. So everyone seems good. We're going to need to get in a vending machine and we'll also get in a water dispenser. Hopefully that will help the nurses and doctors have some food and drink. Yeah, he's not too happy. Where's the nearest toilet? I wouldn't say it was close. Hopefully we can get a bit of prestige. Uh, 
How's it looking now? Yeah, comfortable. Okay. And how about our doctors in our clinics? She's fine. He's fine. She's fine. He's fine. She's fine. Yeah. Oh, he's not great. Um, what we'll do is we'll also get a vending machine and water dispenser of that. Make it as easy as possible for people to be happy, hopefully. Okay, we've got a few people in observation. Another emergency is coming in. We have... Can I click on him please? Fraser Hill, he's got a penetrating trauma to the head. Let's put on life support, give him a bandage. He's going to have to go to ICU and have some more tests done as well please. Okay. Emergency is sort of at... Oh yeah, it sort of is at 90% isn't it? Oh no, it's not, it's like 70% isn't it? Three and a half stars, I don't know how um, accurate that is or not, I'm not sure. Okay, how's everyone doing? What we can do is in the little places we can put. Well, that's annoying, isn't it? We've got a spare desk up here. Oh, I didn't know that. I'd like to get him a radio. Uh, we'll do the same for the doctor's office. So let's get radio, radio, and we're going to get a bookcase. Maybe that should make the nurses a bit happier. Fraser Hill's collapsing. He's just gone to. Well, I don't know why he's gone there, because I said that he needs to go to ICU. So, I'm not too sure what's happening with him. Yeah, so it's sort of 70%. I hope that will improve. I need to go to the loo. Um, should we get a little loo and get a small toilet here. I mean there is one right there. If we get um popular let's see if anyone needs it. Phrase is collapsing again. Is he in ICU? Oh god, camera's going mental. Yes, seems a blood transfusion. Change his diet. Do you want to eat? Oh no, he's gone, he's gone to live in hospital. Damn it! Who's this? Lisa Hernandez. Do you have Lisa? Yeah. You just need your anti hula whoever they are. Patricia Foster here. Yep, have some basic visual tests as well. So you need to be transferred to neurology. So you can have your ACE inhibitor. And we should get our 70 patients for the day, which gives us five ambulance patients a day, I think. What's wrong with you, Jordan? Yeah, you're also going to be a eye person so you might have to go out to neurology too and yet we did get 70 patients what do we get for 80 50 grand i think we could try and get 80 today really what's going on with jordan not too sure just go to neurology jordan because then you can have all of these tests up there as well we've got barbara barkley so she's just getting her antibiotics um, 
Who, what are you waiting for? Microbial. I don't know if we have someone. Microbial at night. Let's go for. The cheapest is you, and you're actually one of the best. So let's get you. So Barbara's just getting it. Antibiotics. He's going to get his anti helmet and no, 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 things. Then hopefully we're going to get in this gentleman, James Jackson. So he's got some kind of lung-ish things. Let's do physical exam and look at his chest. What do we think then, doctor? Okay, still not sure actually. Um... Okay, so x ray the chest is going to be needed. Well, the chance is leveled up, that's good news. Ad abdominal surgery. Oh, god, I can't remember if that was Gen Surge. Yeah, so we haven't got doctors um, or sort of surgery available in the night. Mainly because of the cost. Um, it's not cheap to run surgery at night. So I'm afraid she's just going to have to wait until morning. Um, let's also do some chesty things for you. Not sure what he's got. Let's do a Laryn thingy. Laryngoscopy. Look at his throat. He's got viral tonsillitis, so he just needs a rest, which is good news for him. And that should be another patient treated. Oh, I never got it to 80. It's gone past 12. I didn't even notice it's gone past midnight. So let's fast forward to morning. We're going to be looking at trying to get 90%. Oh no. She's gone. We're going to be looking at trying to get 90% prestige. We've got a reduced patient intake today, which isn't great. Um, and that also sounds like the ambulance has gone off to collect some one. So hopefully we can get 90% prestige. I mean, it's not going to be easy. He's got gastritis, so let's give him something for the pain. And then change his diet, and we'll also do some tests for him so we know exactly what's wrong with him. For here, we've got Rachel Williams. She's got something wrong with her pancreas or liver or spleen. So let's give her something for the pain. Um, do a physical exam, test her urine, her blood, do a fast, and probably do an echo to see what is wrong with her. Still not sure. She needs to have some ice and give some emergency care as well. It's probably a good idea. How many doctors have we got on that night? We have got two. Yeah. Okay. That floor has changed again. I don't know what's happening with that. Our prestige is really not very good this morning. I don't know why. Prestige seems to go down at night anyway, but that does seem very low. Amulet is going out again to collect some more sick people. Okay, what I think we could do is should we see how much it is to build um, a new floor. Copy walls but not tiles. So this is our new floor. And we might want to change it up a bit. Um, we might change the ward area up a bit so it's not exactly the same as um, downstairs. So let's get in what colour should we do up here? Should we do orange? 
Oh no. Let's try a bit of orange. Oh no. Like that. So we'll do these rooms first of all and we can leave the other rooms till later. Like that, because it's probably worth having a toilet up here. Okay, so internal medicine. We're going to get two offices. Um, I don't just want to copy this. I think I will. But we'll change bits of it up. So we can get rid of that room. Um, so we want to go here and we want to say this is reception. This is waiting room. Then what we're going to do is we're going to swap out those benches and we're going to get in some red chairs. So something a bit different. Then our floor can be along the line. I mean, it's just going to come down here and we will change this as we go along. Let's get some of those tiles to fill in the middle. Like that, like that. Change that wall to be an orange wall. Okay, so receptionist, we're going to want. Let's go for. You. Did we get a receptionist for general surgery? Yeah, we did. Good. Okay, and then we're going to get some doors on this place. Flooring wise, let's go for a bit of check. We haven't done too much check yet, so let's go for a bit of check. And then we're going to say we need a bin. So let's get biohazard red, biohazard yellow. With disinfectant above. Exam table, let's go for a yellow exam table. We haven't got a yellow one yet, so let's go there and there with a examination light. Desk, we're going to go for, let's go for these desks. We've got a bit of money now, so let's go a bit extravagant. Get a couple of the posh desks. White chairs are fine. A couple of PCs. One can have paper holder, one can have printer. Then we're going to need equipment cabinet there. And we'll get one in the same place in here. Audio meter, audio meter. And then we'll get an equipment table for CRP scan. And we're going to need another one for um, spirometer, which measures ventilation. There, and then we'll get a fancy chair in each for the patients to sit down whilst they're being talked to by the doctor. Oh, I'm missing our eye test. There we go. So let's get in. So let's get at diagnosis. So at the minute you're looking quite good. You are late into work, but you're also a good boss. Your advanced diagnosis is very low for your price as well. So you're late to work, but you're very good. So let's get in you, and you're going to be our chief doctor. And then we're also going to get in... Um, let's go for you. At night, we're going to go for... be you really isn't it it's quite expensive but that's our internal medicine department oh a freeze so let's go downstairs and we're gonna copy oh we never could put the bathroom in so let's do that there and there and we're just gonna color those to the department so that's orange that's green and then what we're going to do is we're going to say this is a gen surge toilet, so restroom, and this is an internal medicine restroom. Delete restroom, yeah, like that, just like that. Okay, 
So now we need to wait for our first patient. Um, what else? So that's everything for here. I think it is going to be worth copying this. And then we'll just again colour everything to orange. Floor back. Ah. And clean all the rooms, go to internal medicine. So that is the cleaning closet. This is a corridor. That is a restroom. And that is a common room. And let's get in one janitor in a day. And one night. There we go. So you haven't been seen for a while. Okay. Who's this? Barbara Lewis. Okay. So let's put you on Barbara Lewis too, because I don't know why. So our first patient in internal medicine, Richard Hill. So he's got something wrong with this sort of stuff. So let's do a um, physical exam. Look at his chest, he's got asthma. What's it looking like? He's got asthma, which means he needs some bronchodilators. Thomas Walker has just come in. He's collapsing, so let's give him all of that which he needs. Still pretty busy emergency down here. Okay, so thank you very much for watching everyone. I'm going to leave it there for today. I'll see you again next time, where we'll hopefully be expanding our internal medicine department. See you later. If you like the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, post a comment down below, and please follow me on Facebook and Twitter to keep updated. See you later.